Hello, in this video we are going to look at an algorithm you can use to create Jigsaw Sudoku grid patterns like this. And in this video we will look at the algorithm that is being used here to create a Jigsaw Sudoku grid pattern like this. Okay, so let's look at this algorithm step by step. So <clears throat> the first thing that you do is you find regions in the grid that can swap cells. So they have two or more touching neighbors. Um, so this is uh, using color to represent the boundaries of a standard Sudoku grid where you have orthodox three by three boxes. But of course in Jigsaw Sudoku, these regions get squished into funny shapes that slot together a bit like a jigsaw and hence the name Jigsaw Sudoku or a regular Sudoku. So we find regions that can swap a pair of cells. So for instance, this darker pink color could expand into this cell here of the light pink and the light pink could take this cell back from the darker pink region like this. So the pink has gone here and this other pink has gone there and so we still have regions of nine consecutive squares. Now we need to make sure that when we find a pair of uh, cells to swap that we don't isolate either region. So uh, to show you an example of that, I'll take a few steps forward and look for an instance. Okay, so here's a potential example here. So we could say that this green region could grow by taking cell 40 from the blue region and the blue region could take its cell here, for instance, by growing from there to there. Um, however, what will happen if the green region takes this blue square? You'll see that the blue region would then be split into two because you'd have these two squares here, 30 and 31 in the grid, but no way for them to reach the other squares that would be in that region because they'd be isolated um, by this green square here. So in order to make sure that the um, region swaps you're making are always valid when you're creating jigsaw Sudoku patterns in this way. You just need to check that you can always reach from one square in a potential region to any other square. So you can use a simple flood fill style algorithm for this. Um, you create the two tentative regions. So you'd create a region of green that was 28, 29, 37, 38, 39, 40, 46, 48, 49, and 58. And you'd create, sorry, not 58 because that's moving across. And then you'd create the dark blue one of 24, 30, 31, 33, 41, 42, 50, 58, and 59. But before committing that move, um, taking that actual step, you would then just check, you pick a random square in here. So you might pick square 42, and you just see which other neighboring squares uh, it can reach and go to every single neighboring square in turn that is dark blue in color. And it will realize it can't see all nine squares. And so if it stops before it reaches the number nine, then you know the region is isolated and you don't take that step and you pick a different move. And the DHA you'll see it will pick a different step. And that's it really, you just pick the options at random each time um, and make the swap. Now you might like to keep on going for 10 steps, 20 steps, 30 steps, 100 steps. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's always nice if you don't have regions left that are complete box regions, um, but I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll keep going, there you go. So we've got rid of both the box regions now. Um, and so I'll stop there. Um, and so that is how to create a jigsaw Sudoku pattern using this very simple algorithm where you find pairs of uh, cells from neighboring regions that can swap places with each other. Um, you check that if you make that swap, it doesn't isolate either of the regions. If it doesn't, then you simply make the swap and continue as many times as you want. Um, and we can wind that back to the beginning. So you'll see that the regions are slowly getting more and more ordered. Um, back to the start. And of course, you can run it as many times as you want um, and create as many different grid patterns as you want. Um, in terms of actually filling the patterns once you've made them, um, you can just use the standard Sudoku filling algorithm that we've already covered in other videos. Um, so if you don't yet know how to actually fill a Sudoku grid, um, then do check out our video on that. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do like and uh, do share any comments. Perhaps you use a different algorithm to create your jigsaw Sudoku patterns. If so, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.
and goodbye.